Detectives, KGPL is going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Interesting. Another Marine taking the bus this time. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. I don't know who you're talking to. Captain, I'm not there. I don't care. I'm really talking to you. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. Go, go, go. I ain't get, taking any calls this time, actually. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code 3. No can do at the moment. I have to get to this bus shooting. All units, further on the shooting at 1384 North Bronson. 116 Adam reports the suspect is on the roof of the J.W. Robinson building. All units approach with caution. Careful, you'll cause an accident. Is it the same case? What he's announcing and what where we're going? I think it's the same case. I don't see the running character legend that we usually see on the map. Units 49 William, 15 Adam, go to 1370 Gordon Street. Establish a perimeter and stand by for further. Any other units to respond, code 3, identify. Unit 19, Adam, meet the officer at 5920 Fountain Avenue. Assist Unit 49, William, transporting an injured citizen. 19, Adam, handle. Code 3. Okay. That's a BAR. I thought I had a shot. I didn't. God damn it. Why is it firing only at me? Oh, damn. I shot his hat off. Fine. Fine. I'll find a way to go up and stop him. How do I hear this, by the way? I wasn't in a car, I wasn't near a car. How did I hear the radio communication? But not now, but I did hear it, so... LAPD, drop the gun now! We win with a pew pew. Ah, my nose is itchy. Okay, Let's check it out. Is that one of the BARs? It's one of the BARs. Sure is. Okay. Don't care about the magazine. 
same thing, I guess. Oh, god damn it. Clicking right click by mistake. Nothing so far. Hopefully something in the pockets. No. Yay. Phone number and restaurant table. Macombo, table three. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. He's hiding something. I don't believe you, Felix. I've got gunmen blasting away at innocent citizens. This is getting out of hand. Is there something you want to tell me? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar, detective. You want to prove that I was involved? Him being on the... on the ship doesn't mean he was involved, right? But we do know when we that it's an inside job. Okay. You're off the hook. Do I have intuition? Now. I don't have intuition. Yeah. I'll go without. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. How am I supposed to link him to him knowing about Mickey Cohen? Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Before he wasn't with his hands like this. And this face. And now he's swallowing really hard. He doesn't even look at Cole, I think. Oh, now he did. He's definitely lying though. Just don't know what was the what we said. Uh who's shooting at you? How do I know? Uh work for Mickey Cohen, why he wants you dead, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or any of those gangsters. So I cannot link him to him knowing those gangsters, really. I mean, this connects 
the hit job on Alvaro. But it doesn't mean Alvaro knows Cohen. Fine. Looks like I was mistaken. I'll go without. Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Nope. Not for a minute. I've got friends that work at the Examiner. How about five bucks for an exclusive? To make a phone call. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. Interesting, though. What was it then? It was definitely a lie, it wasn't a truth. How about five bucks for an excuse? Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Yeah, I have to go to Jack. Nothing else to do. I can go to the Hollywood police station, but there, there is nothing there. Okay. Well, let's hope we'll get a call now. Oh shit. Open your eyes. Yeah. Like this. Ooh, that was nice. Taking the turn. My cat is sleeping on my lap at the moment. She likes to do that. Sleep me. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. So, how have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. There's a point. Not that they were the biggest friends before, there was always tension between them. Did you know, Mr. Lepowski? Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. You've been to my house? Jack, you know about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. This is going nowhere. It's true. Looks like I made a mistake. It is true. But I'm very doubtful about what he's saying. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. This is your automobile, Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Uh, 
I'm no hood. I'm a king. Is that a crime? What was that mouth movement? Quit lying to me, Jack. You know what's going on. You've been in this with Eddie from the start. I'd want to have something solid to back up what I was saying if I was you. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. See that? You want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. So when he does this thing, it's the truth then? You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Where the phone? Negative. You really think I'm gonna squeal? I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Is this a picture of your car? What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. No, this is definitely lying face. I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? I hope you have something to back that up. I won't let you hide behind your rank any longer. How long is this gonna take? Wait, not. Well, you were over there, right? And now you want me to lie. You can tick me off your little list. I'm not involved. Wait. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Okay, that was funny. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Wait, but... I want to try it. Bye, Kat. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I don't get it. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. So let me get this straight. We ask him if he knows what's going to happen. He says, no, I don't. And then we accuse him. But you were there. You either part of it or know who is. They just and walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. And then he said, you can't, uh, you want to back this up? And I'm just like, yeah, sure. Here, the manifest, wow. you were there. So I don't get it. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. No, it's no good. We need to get closer. Getting close and steering. Come on, off this the is tar. like my best driving so far. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. I survived the war today. Oh my god! I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. 
Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! Fine. Especially to keep us driving. Watch it. You guys aren't gonna go quietly. Open fire! really fucking up the investigation on this case. I'll be surprised if I'll get three stars. Probably won't. Oh, a newspaper. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl, detective, administrative vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. <sighs> I told you he was going to have power over us. Over flaps, I should say. Not over me, obviously, I don't care. An LAPD file? We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Interesting. Don't think I need to check those hands and face and whatnot, just the pockets. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Just standing on the corpse lips? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Gonna stand on your face. <laughs> 